I really worked with that idea in my own life for a long time where every time I would encounter something I didn't like about my lived experience, I would immediately mine it for meaning for the lesson. And I started to enter into a dynamic. I think it's probably not uncommon, even for those who are listening here at this stage where I developed a relationship with the universe, where I was like an unconsenting sub, right? Like to this like bad Dom who was going to arbitrarily deliver me punitive lessons. And I would just have to beg for mercy. And, and I promise I'll, 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 I'll get it. I'll get it right this time, you know? And I was living my life like a little bit like this ducking spiritual lessons and cosmic two by fours. And when I read existential kink, which came on really the wave of this process of embodiment that has inspired this entire salon. Something so delighted within me to recognize that those two polarities are within me. Of course they are, right? It's one of those remembrances that just felt immediately like, of course, the Dom and Sub are in here and I'm playing with myself as an Alan Watts fan forever. He talks about how we play this game of hide and seek with ourselves called our lives. And so I want to explore with Carolyn today, how it could be that, as she says, having is evidence of wanting. How could it possibly be that we have this much power, this much creative agency in our lives? And why would we ever (laughs) create these challenges that we create? 